This meeting is being recorded per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7B. Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the delay in our start. It was due entirely to my computer problems. Um, I'd like to welcome tonight uh, for the first time, Chris Hall, our new alternate member. Hi, Chris. And uh, congratulate Kathleen Williams on being promoted to a full commissioner. <laughs> Without further ado, we'll get going. I'd like to welcome everyone to the August 10, 2021 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those of you who have not been here before, tonight's session is composed of two parts, the public hearing and the public meeting. In the public hearing, we asked each applicant in turn to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us an opportunity to clarify what you are proposing to do and for you to ask us any questions. Also, commissioners may voice an opinion or suggestion based on their own feelings. However, a vote is not taken until the public meeting following the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, we will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for further consideration, or in rare cases, we may deny it. You're welcome to stay for the public meeting, but need not do so. The results of tonight's meeting will be available from the Weathersfield Building Office tomorrow at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other required permits, such as zoning, inland wetlands, or building. Please contact the building department to review any other permits that may be required before beginning construction. With this, I will ask our clerk, Commissioner Lyons, to read our legal notice. Thank you. Legal notice, Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission. The Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a virtual public hearing on Tuesday, August 10th, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. on the following applications seeking a certificate of appropriateness. Application 6068-21, Gove Restoration LLC, seeking to construct a 3.2 by five foot covered entry over side entry door and rebuild steps with fur treads and wood risers at 290 Main Street. Application 6069-21, Joan Monroe, seeking to replace existing stockade fence on east rear property line with solid cedar fence panels with square lattice topper to equal six feet at, six, at 7 Howard Ave. Application 6070-21, Daniel Moser, seeking to create opening on rear of home, install 60 inch vinyl siding patio door, remove concrete steps and side door and left side of house at 70 Harmon Place. If you wish to review the applications on file, you may request a copy by contacting HDC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or by calling 860-721-2836. Live participation is available by audio format. Any residents interested in speaking on an application or wishing to listen to the meeting should email HTC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or call 860-721-2836 by 6 p.m. on the night of the meeting to be sent a phone number for audio access. Please include your name, phone number, and address in the email. Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission, Kim Wool, duly authorized, dated at Weathersfield, Connecticut, this 26th day of July, 2021. Okay, so um, I think I'm still having lag, but my voice is coming through fine. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, Claire is also having trouble getting in for some reason, so she's uh, just messaged me. She's going to keep trying, but she is not able to log in at the moment. Uh, okay, so we'll start with application 6065, tabled from the previous meeting, uh, the application for 200 Main Street. I've been informed that the Historical Society has withdrawn the application. They're probably going to come back with something when they have um, a more firm plan developed. We'll Jen, move on. Jen, can yeah. I interrupt you for one second? Um, can you clarify who's voting tonight, please? Um, yes. Let me just see who's here. Claire's here. So we have our regular members, which would be me, Kathleen, and Claire and Chris, so that's four. So we, uh, Basic will be our alternate voting for tonight. You don't wanna give Chris a chance? Okay. 
Hi, Chris. Paul, welcome. How are you? Okay. I apologize. I'm really having some te technical difficulties tonight. Um, My internet is in and out, so I may lose you guys. Okay. Application 6067, the application at 19 Middletown Avenue. Who do we have present for that tonight? Hi, uh, Victoria Steves. I am the permit coordinator at Freedom Forever. And do we have the homeowner tonight as well? I don't believe so. Nope. We do. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't get off of you. This is Lynn Androni. <laughs> okay. Um, Ms. Droney, would you identify yourself with your uh, name and address, please, for the record? You're on mute. I want to make sure the homeowner can participate. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I am actually a web analyst. You think I'd be able to do this. Um, my name is Lynn Androni, and I reside at 19 Middletown Avenue in Wethersfield, Connecticut. Great, thank you. So we had some pretty extensive discussions at our last meeting and some thoughts about um, some changes were relayed. Uh, what have you come back with for us tonight? Well, first off, I would like to apologize that my um, manager, Sarah, the one that presented last time, she is unable to make it tonight. She did have an emergency. And I did receive an email regarding that we were not able to submit the documents that you guys requested. So we did submit everything to our design team to have everything looked at, but they are unable to get it done because they are, they're very behind right now. And that is nothing to do with you guys. So I do apologize for that. But um, for what we do know is, as of right now is that we are able to accommodate to having the, the panels be the black on the black. We are not able to accommodate to having just the panels on the back of the house due to the fact that if we were to do that, that would only be half of the production that was needed for uh, the homeowner. So that would not be financially um, fitting in my opinion. And the addition on the back, the small room that's on the back of the house can that be used for panels? We did look that, but unfortunately there would not be enough room. Um, and then on top of it, there would be more wiring and um, additional things that would be needed to source that. So it just wouldn't be appeasing not, as well. Not it's not impossible though you're just telling us it's more difficult because degree of difficulty isn't really our concern how it ends up looking is of course uh no there it cannot fit on the back of them they would be hanging off the back shed how many additional panels could you fit on that back portion um, according to uh sarah who did um the dc the the design on it uh none Well, again, is that a preference or an impossibility? It's an impossibility, according to her. And why is that? They would not be fitting um, either way. Uh, if you were to have one panel, it wouldn't be, it would be hanging off on one side or the other. We did try to put like one on each side, but our panels are too long. So they'd just be hanging off on to the sides of the shed. But if you were to put two, then obviously same I'm thing. Not, I'm not talking about the shed. I'm talking about the addition on the back of the house. There's a small. Yeah, there's there's a three season porch that's that's attached to the home. I think that's what you're speaking about, correct? Right. Uh, we can definitely look into that a little bit more. I apologize. We thought that last time you meant the um, the little shed that's in the back. I do apologize. So yes, that one is a possibility. I I do apologize. I thought it was the one shed in the back that we were discussing last time. But yeah, we can definitely look into that. Um, from what I'm looking at, we can maybe do two on each side, but that's also pushing the fire setbacks that would be required for the fire marshal to prove on. From what I'm looking at, but obviously I need to get this into design team. I'm definitely not an electrician for this. <laughs> And the other concern we had was we understand the shutoff by code has to be where the other utilities are, but we were looking for a better placement of the balance of the mechanicals as opposed to right close up front on the front of the house to the street. 
Yes, I, um, that's a little bit outside. I'm sorry to say it's a little outside of my um, grade of expertise. Um, unfortunately, I'm just the coordinator and I'm just filling in for Sarah as much as I can. But from what I do know is that she did put that DCR in to have that, to see where it would be more efficient for you guys to have it as soon as we get that back. But uh, as of right now, I do know that the design team was unable to coordinate to where you wanted that meter to be specifically. May, may I just may I just comment and if I if I can't if I have to speak later that's perfectly fine but that that area is actually covered um, even throughout the winter with foliage and is not able to be seen from the street if it's to be below we the meter. Yes, we've we all we, sorry. by that location and it definitely can be seen and the problem is if we've got um, some screening there from certain angles, it's really not what we're looking for. We're looking for that to be located either in the house or on another location that's less prominent. Okay, thank you. I will definitely make note of that to make sure we can see if we can fit that inside of the house or we can move it somewhere where it would be un unseen. And I can definitely have one of my um, technicians go out and take some more pictures of the house as long as the homeowner is okay with that so we can figure out what would be the best placement okay so, so for tonight just, we don't just really to make sure um we're all clear and i'm sure we all know this but the last date that this application can be voted on is august uh, 24th so the next meeting would be the last time that this particular application is still votable, just so you can go back, as you go back to your technicians, they've got that information. Yes, of course, thank you very much for that. And I yeah, do I also, if you just, guys, I remember mentioning, oh, go ahead, I'm so sorry. Just as a scheduling issue too, we may not have any applications for our next meeting. And if that's the case, the, that meeting mm -hmm. could be canceled. So there's a possibility that we may act on your application tonight and just waive an application fee if we need to come back. Okay, understandable. Since um, you're not ready, tonight, that may be the way that it has to go. Yes, okay. um, we're just trying to figure out everything as of right now. And like I said, I do apologize. Our design team is very behind right now. We're expanding pretty, pretty largely at the moment. Okay, so um, is there anything else you need to add for tonight that you need us to know? I do not believe so. I will be submitting. Um, we did, uh, accum I did find some projects. I found them myself uh, throughout Massachusetts and one in Connecticut for historical that we have gotten approved for. And we did solar paneling on it. It's the black on black. So it's the ones that you guys are requesting and I will be submitting that with that. Okay, that's great. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yep. We'll move on to Thank uh, you. if no, if none of our um, commissioners have anything further, is there anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against this application at this time? Hearing none, we'll move on to 6068, the application for 290 Main Street. Hello. All right. I'm uh, Matt Gove from Gove Restoration. Um, my address is 70 Main Street in Weathersfield. Welcome, Matt. What do you have for us tonight? Um, my clients wanted to protect their side entry door a little bit better. So they uh, consulted an architect and came up with a design to do a little um, covered entry in that space that will hopefully help them to protect their door a little bit better. <clears throat> so I just submitted the application for building that. It's a, it's a basic um, sort of covered entryway with an exposed B board ceiling, asphalt shingles, which will match the rest of the house. Um, they wanted to put the uh, structural brackets on it to support the roof. And it's all going, those would be a cedar, the, um, and those would be painted with the, um, all the trim would be a, a primed pine trim <clears throat> um, that would uh, get painted as well. 
And the floor right now, that side entryway is kind of, it's falling apart. And so it's, it's separated from the house and there's considerable amount of rot. So we have to fix that. But it, um, the flooring itself is, a, I believe it's right now, it's pressure treated, but we would do a, a tongue and groove dug fur floor on that with um, dug fur treads and then uh, cedar railing posts with um, a cedar rail as well, which is all in the drawing. Am I the only one having trouble hearing him? Nope. Well, I'm fine. I can't tell. It's slow. Okay. If you could just speak up a little bit, Matt. I'm just having I'm having computer issues, but I'm also having difficulty hearing you. Okay, no problem. Do you need me to explain that again? No. Um, I was leaning in so I could hear you, but okay. go ahead and continue. That, that was it. Um, I guess they consulted with zoning, which doesn't really matter. I guess all the clearances were approved. Um, the door is going to remain for now, the, the existing door, and the light is going to remain. Um, we're just going to sort of plug this, um, this covered entry, like roof portion, into the house. So we're going to remove some clapboards, replace with cedar, um, and yeah, that's our, that's our plan. So, Matt, the... the proposed entry is pretty much going to mimic what's on the front of the house, except pretty, the smaller scale? Yeah, pretty pretty much, yes. Okay. I think that was the architect's goal when he drew it out. Okay. The only other question I have is, you know, it's detail, but I've just looked at the drawing and the uh, whole roof uh, thing sticks out three foot two inches. And is the top deck going to be actually smaller than that or? The, the landing itself? Yeah. The landing size is, the landing is going to be a little bit longer than that. But deep, front to back, or as you walk up to it. Are you talking including the stair run? Nope. Just the deck, the, just the top landing. I don't know the exact dimension of that landing, but I think it's about, um, let's see, 11, 11, 3. It, it will be a couple of inches um, deeper than the that roof portion itself. So the water, okay. I was just thinking from a functionality point of view, you don't want water dripping on that stair. It, but I, it's slanted away the other way, so it doesn't really matter. Never correct, mind. yeah. Yep. Never mind. No problem. So when I first was looking at this, um, I thought for a moment that it was the coffin door on the south side that you were looking at, but it's actually the door on the addition or L part of the house. And so I don't really have a problem with it in that location, but I'd like to state for the record that if it was being proposed on what we typically call the, the coffin door on the main body of the house, I probably would not be in favor of putting um, an, a covering over the doorway in this fashion, but I think that what you pr have proposed looks pretty good in its location. Does anyone have any other additional? No. Yeah, Jen, you're frozen. It was nice, nice knowing her. <laughs> I know. Um, should somebody else pick All up? Right. Um, probably, Chris, you're probably next up on Yeah, the... Chris Lyons, you're probably the next right. one to Does pick anyone, up. Does anyone, any other commissioners have any questions for the app, for the applicant? Nope. Is it's, a very complete, it's a very complete application. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And any public have any comments on this application? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to the next application, which is application 6069, Joan Monroe. Mrs. Monroe, I think I saw you guys. Yes, I'm right here. Okay. And my husband is here too. We are, my, this is Michael Monroe and I'm Joan Monroe. We are the co-owners of 7 Howard Avenue. 
and what we're proposing to do. Now, I'll have to apologize when I submitted this application. I got my east and west confused, so it's actually the west side of the um, of the property. So, being a novice at this, I apologize, but that's the only stockade fence we have on the property. So, if anyone drives by, they can see that stockade fence is failing very badly because when it was installed, it was installed with the poles directly into the into the soil so that the poles actually started to rot. And then ESIS came in last, last August and started to tip everything over and the whole thing went to hell. So we pulled in Connecticut fencing and we are proposing to put, to replace that on the same, exactly the same footprint with a cedar paneled um, privacy fence, five feet tall with a one foot um, square lattice top with New England style caps on each of the poles. And, and that fence will look exactly the same on both sides. So the neighbors on the other side will see exactly the same fence that we see. And it's gonna be mounted in um, dry concrete so that will be, in, be no more rotting. So hopefully it'll be a 20 year or 20, 30 year fence rather than a five year fence that we had there before. Ms. Mara, what's the length of that section? How, I know you have it identified on your plot plan, thank you, but- Let me see. How, how many I, sections? You know, he's talking on a second. Do I have that? Um, 49 feet is the entire length. I don't know. You mean the, the, the actual length of the sections of the fence? No, no, they're usually like eight feet or so. So 49 feet, it's, it's, it's probably 48. But you add in the size of the posts. So. Um, uh, it doesn't really say what this is. One point, it says five one panels, or five foot panels. One, in, Yeah, it doesn't give us. No, it's making, I don't know. I approximately 48 feet, 49 about, feet. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I know it's the, 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 app of the, the contract said up to, yeah, 49 foot plus, yeah, of existing wood fence and then replace it with um, six foot high cedar fence, uh, five by five. So I guess, the, yeah, the entire length, he estimated to be 49 feet, the entire length of the, of the back length that he's replacing. Okay. Right, there is no good side or bad side to this fence. It, it's no, it's going to be exactly the same on both yeah. sides. Any commissioners have any questions for the applicant? No. Looks Got like all the fine. information we needed. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you very we much. Were, we were thorough with that. <clears throat> and the, the public, is there any here. comments from the public for or against this application? My question is, can everyone hear me in real time again? Yes. Oh, <laughs> we can. Yes, we can. Thank but we you. love living in Old Weathersfield. Just want to drop that comment too. And we appreciate what you do. We, uh, yeah, we appreciate it's, what it's, you it's, do. It's, um, it's a little work to have to apply, but we really appreciate with the fact that yeah. we're making sure everything is, is orderly in our town. Yeah. We appreciate that. All the work you do. Thank, we you. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We appreciate that. All right. Any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to application 607021 the application for 70 Harmon Place. Hello, uh, can everyone hear me fine? Yes. Hi, uh, Daniel Moser, company's Nova 22 Group, uh, LLC out of uh, 80 Silver Springs Drive in Higginham, Connecticut. In regards to 70 Harmon uh, Drive for um, installing a vinyl uh, sliding door on the back side of the house and removing a concrete uh, stoop and doorway on the left side of the house. I'm just closing it off. So I think we probably all drove by and took a look at the property. It's got a very narrow driveway with not a lot of property on that north side. Um, so it's, and there's a chimney um, forward of that door. So the view of the, the door that you get is actually pretty small. You're removing that. And then I think what you're adding to the back, I don't think that we can really see even from the next street down. Correct. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, my only question is, and I assume it's addressed in the application, but I'm flipping through here. Uh, the siding that's coming off the back of the house is going to be used to patch the hole where the, the doorway. door was? Correct. Yes. Okay. And the fading on it is about the same, so the color will match. I look at all uh, four sides of the house, it's approximately the same. It's not going to be, you know, a million percent, you know, uh, matching, but we're going to do our best to patch it as best, best as can. And, you know, okay. hopefully you won't be able to tell too much. 
you won't be able to see much anyway with the chimney. Correct. Like that. Okay. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. So Kim had that picture up and you could see from the side street also between the other structures that were there, you really, you really can't see the back of the house at all. Okay, uh, does anyone else have any further questions? What, what are we doing with the steps? You said the, demolishing the concrete steps, so they're not gonna be replaced or? Yeah, because the door we won't be there anymore. Closed just, off, right? Okay, just make sure. Bring the foundation to kind of blend it in. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Very good. Anyone else? Hearing none. Um, is there anyone from the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, I will take a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, so again, application 6065, 200 Main Street has been withdrawn by the applicant. Moving to application 6067, 19 Middletown Avenue. May I have a motion? I make a motion to deny this application without prejudice so that we can come back to it at any time as it's submitted. Uh, this will take any pressure off of the town as far as trying to schedule a meeting for just this one uh, tabled item. I would, uh, I'll second that. And uh, just as an aside, uh, there will be no additional application fee because uh, it's partly a convenience to us in that, that there's only one application for the next meeting. Um, I think that uh, we're not acting necessarily on the appropriateness of the particular application, but uh, I think we all agree as it stands without any additional information, uh, we don't have enough information to act upon it without doing irreparable harm to the district. So I think that this is, it's appropriate to deny just for tonight. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the application is denied without prejudice. Moving on to application 6068, 290 Main Street. May I have a motion? Make Move a motion. to approve is submitted. And I will second it. Um, this is a very complete application, a very uh, sensitive, small addition thoughtful in terms of the, what the front looks like and understandable in terms of the need. And I think it's certainly appropriate um, in its design for the house in conjunction with the front. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, the application is approved. Application 60697 Howard Avenue. Make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. I think it's an appropriate fence. We've had similar with the lattice tops. Uh, very appropriate for the district. And certainly in its location as well. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the application is approved as submitted. Application 607070 Harmon Place. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. Uh, basically, the applicant's coming in with an application for something that I would generally have a major issue with, and that's uh, a vinyl slider. However, it's going to be installed on the back of the house. There's going to be essentially no public view of it whatsoever. Uh, and the deletion of this uh, stair and the door on the north side of the house is not going to impact the district in any way. I agree, Vasek, um, and I agree wholeheartedly with your comment about the vinyl slider. If it were visible, it would not um, be appropriate, I don't think, but given its location, it's fine. All those in favor, say aye. 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 The application is approved as submitted. Moving on to the minutes of the July 27, 2021 meeting. May I have a motion? 
Who's voting? Um, Everyone was here. Everybody? Okay, thanks, yeah. Linda. Sure. Make a motion to approve is submitted. I'll second with our usual comments of thanks to Linda and the excellent job she makes looking us making us look better than we do. And to Kim, of course, for putting together all the paperwork and doing all the hard work to get everything to us in advance of these hearings. Um, all those in favor of approval say aye. 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 Motion passes, minutes are approved. Do we have any public comments on general matters to the district, Kim? Um, no. Uh, we do, and no report? Um, no regular report, just two things that we need to do for housekeeping. Um, we have, we should be voting on commission, member, uh, commission members. Um, if you want to wait, we can wait. If you want to wait for Mark, it's up to you. Yeah, I didn't have any conversation with our vice chair, so I think we should wait until he's present for it, okay. unless we feel like making him chair in his absence. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> so we'll, um, wait, we'll wait for him. Okay, the only other thing I emailed out was the meeting dates for 2022, um, because they start looking for those um, in the next month or so. Okay. So if there are any concerns, we can talk about it now. We can wait until September. It's second and fourth Tuesday. Every it's, yeah. With Let's just vote it. it. Okay. Yep. I make a motion to approve the meeting dates as submitted by Kim Wolf to us. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. And I don't have any other public comments. Great. If there's no correspondence, uh, we will close this out in record time, especially given my poor, poor performance, technologically speaking. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your patience. Happy August. Happy August. We'll see you next month. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.